Hello everyone, I am going to start with a new chapter in the plant physiology for grade 10. The name of the chapter is photosynthesis. I am sure you all are familiar with the term photosynthesis. You are doing this from 6th grade onwards. So what is photosynthesis? It is the process by which plant makes their own food in the presence of sunlight. Now look at the equation for photosynthesis. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by diffusion. They absorb water from the soil. In the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, they make their own food in the form of glucose. New water molecules are formed and oxygen is given out in atmosphere. This reaction comes for one mark in your board exam. So while writing the equation, make sure it is balanced. Sunlight and chlorophyll are very important. Moving to the next topic, chloroplast. Now look at the diagram of chloroplast. Grade 9 first chapter. It is a type of plastid present only in plant shells. So the structure of chloroplast, how a chloroplast looks like in plant. It is a double membranous structure. There are two membranes. We call them outer membrane and inner membrane. Do not end up writing cell wall and cell membrane. We call them outer membrane and inner membrane. There is colorless ground matrix. This colorless ground matrix is called stroma. S-T-R-O-M-A. Do not get confused with stoma is singular form of stomata. They can ask you to write down the differentiation between stoma and stroma. So the colorless ground matrix of chloroplast is called stroma. Then you have coin-like structures in chloroplast. These coin-like structures in chloroplast are called thylakoids. What are they called? Thylakoids. All the thylakoids together, the entire stack of thylakoid together is called grana. What is it called? Grana. Now two granas are interconnected with each other with the help of a bar. This bar is called fret. This diagram for chloroplast comes for drawing in your board exam. So it's a double membranous structure. There are two membranes, outer membrane and inner membrane. Then there is a colorless ground matrix called stroma. Do not get confused with stoma. Then you have coin-like structures in chloroplast. These coin-like structures are called thylakoid. The entire stack of thylakoid together is called grana. Two granas are interconnected with each other with the help of a bar. This bar is called fret. Now, moving forward, all of you have heard of chlorophyll too. Chlorophyll is a green pigment which traps sunlight for the process of photosynthesis. My question is, where do you think exactly chlorophyll is present in the diagram of chloroplast? You know this that chlorophyll is a green pigment present in chloroplast, traps sunlight for the process of photosynthesis. The location of chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is present in the walls of thylakoid. These coin-like structures are called thylakoids in their walls. So this is a location. Coming to the location of chloroplast. In transpiration chapter, all of you have seen the diagram of vertical section of leaf. So in the vertical section of leaf, the outermost layer, cuticle. Then comes upper epidermis. Then comes mesophyll cells. Two type of mesophyll cells. Rod-like are called palisade mesophylls. Spongy mesophylls. Then substomatal space. And finally, lower epidermis. This was the vertical section of leaf in transpiration. You know chloroplast is present in leaf. So if the question comes, what is the location of chloroplast in plants? You know one of the location is in the leaf. But... Where exactly in leaf? In the mesophyll cells, in palisade mesophylls and spongy mesophylls. So under the location of chloroplast, your first point is it is present in leaf. Where in leaf? In palisade and spongy mesophyll cells and spongy mesophyll cells. Other location, you know what is a stomata, right? Stomata are covered by bean-shaped cells. These bean-shaped cells are called guard cells. Chloroplast is also present in the guard cells. So second location, guard cells. Now third location, it is also seen in young green stems. So repeat after me, location of chloroplast, of course in leaves. Where exactly in leaves? In the mesophyll cells, palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. Second location, in the guard cells. Third location, young green stems. 
If the question comes, write down the location of chlorophyll. You know it is present in chloroplast. Where exactly in chloroplast? In the walls of thylakoid. Do not write thylakoid. You lose marks. Write down in the walls of thylakoid. If the question comes, write down the location of chloroplast. Three points. In the leaf. Where exactly in leaf? In palisade and spongy mesophyll cells. In the guard cells. Last point. In the young green stems. Is this clear? The location based question from the start of the chapter. I would like to end this class with the question. MCQ type of question and there's high possibility they can ask you in your board paper as well. So all of you have heard of the Wibgeor spectrum, right? Physics. Talking about chlorophyll. A MCQ question, a possible MCQ question given in your Selena in a box. So what happens? Chlorophyll absorbs light from both the end of the spectrum. It absorbs blue light as well as red light. Blue as well as red absorbs. But it, it reflects green light. That is why it appears green. So they can ask you as MCQ question that chlorophyll absorbs dash and dash light on both the end of the spectrum. Blue as well as red. But it reflects green light. That is why it appears green in color. Now for next part, come to the part 2. Thank you.